Shalom everyone! Welcome to a new day, another day of Judaica and music with Cantor and Bryn. We're going to start with our What's It box and our theme today is going to be all about Rosh Hashanah, the new year in the Jewish tradition. So are you ready? Yeah! Okay. What's it, what's it, what's yeah. it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it toy? What's in a what's it box? Yeah. I want to know right I now. Know. What's in a what's it toy? I want to know, I want to know, I want to know right now. Can you pick something out? You have in there, hurry, pick it out. Can you grab something? Put your hand in, hurry, hurry. Can we now say? 
sing it like we're underwater.
mover shaker. Jump up, get down. Come dance with Cantor. We're moving our body to the olive fat. Dance nearby. Whoa, uh, 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 uh. Dance far away. Now clap your hands to the letter of the day. Clap, clap. What's the letter? Clap, clap. What's the letter? Clap, clap. The letter of the day is Saudi. Saudi stands for Sadaka. Sadaka is when we take a box like this and we put money in it to give to people who need help. And by doing Sadaka, it makes us Good people, righteous people, which is what we want during the holidays that are coming up. So, Sadiq for Sadaka. It's story time. It's story time. Come sit with me. Come sit with me. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stop. It's story time. We'll read a book, we'll read a book. Giggle, 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 giggle. Shh. Use your ears to listen. Use your eyes to see. Give me your attention. Use your imagination. With me. Apple Days, a Rosh Hashanah story. What are you looking forward to this Rosh Hashanah? Katie's teacher asked the class. Hearing the shofar, shouted Max. Chicken soup at Grandma's, exclaimed Abby. Katie raised her hand, beaming. Applesauce, she said. But not just any kind. Every year my mom and I go apple picking and then we make our own. Katie had even more to share. And I will have a new baby cousin later this month. Applesauce and a baby in the new year, her teacher replied. How exciting. Katie loved apples. She loved biting into their crispy skin and discovering the sweet, tart taste inside. But she loved applesauce even more. Every year at the orchard, Katie and her mother would search for the perfect apples. They would walk the rows, picking some of each variety until their bucket was full. At home, Katie would place the apples on the kitchen counter and her mother would start to peel. Katie watched as her mother's steady hands moved quickly in circles, unraveling the skin like thread from a spool. Then Katie's mother would core and slice the apples and Katie would put them into their biggest pot. Katie would take cinnamon and sugar from the pantry and sprinkle them into the pot Finally, she would squeeze in some lemon juice and add a little bit of water. Soon the kitchen would fill with the sweet smell of apples and cinnamon. Just thinking about it made Katie's mouth water. Let's make next Wednesday apple day, said Katie's mother, and Katie drew a big apple on the calendar. Katie told everyone about Apple Day. Soon her dad knew, her neighbor knew, Carla the hairdresser knew, and Sam the shoe store man knew. The principal knew, Rabbi Portnoy knew, and her friends Max and Abby knew. On Monday, she told her class, it's getting closer. Katie couldn't wait for each day to pass. On Tuesday, the phone rang and Katie answered. Hi, said Aunt Leah. May I speak to your mom, Katie? 
Oh, hi, said Katie. Guess what? We are going. Katie, I'm sorry to interrupt, sweetie, but I need your mom now. Katie was puzzled. Aunt Leah always wanted to hear about everything. But Katie went to find her mother. When her mother hung up the phone, she turned to Katie. Your new baby cousin is coming early, so I'm afraid we can't go apple picking tomorrow. But mommy, Katie cried, you promised. Tears spilled down her cheeks. I know this is disappointing for you, Katie. It is for me too, but I have to help Aunt Leah. It's your job to be a big girl. But we won't have applesauce for Rosh Hashanah, said Katie sadly. The next day, Katie's father walked her to school. Why so sad? The crossing guard asked. Isn't today apple day? We can't go, Katie mumbled. mumbled. Can't go, asked Max. Why? Because of the baby, Katie said. Max told Abby, who told teacher, who told the principal, who told the rabbi. When Abby got her hair out, she told Carla. And then when Max went to buy school shoes, he told Sam. When Katie and her dad arrived home after school, they found a bright red apple on the doorstep. Next to it was a note that said, Dear Katie, I heard about what happened. Maybe this will help. Love, Rabbi Portnoy. The next day, the crossing guard handed Katie a yellow apple and the principal placed another in her backpack. Katie's teacher gave her an apple at circle time. So did each of her friends. Her backpack was almost full. Walking home with her dad, Katie passed the shoe store. Sam too had a surprise, a jar of cinnamon. Wait, Katie, shouted Carla from the beauty shop. I have some sugar and a lemon for you. When they got home, Katie lined up 10 apples on the kitchen counter and tried to remember what her mother did next. She and her father stared at the apples, the cinnamon, the sugar, and the lemon, wondering exactly how to turn them into applesauce. First, we have to peel them, Katie said. So her father took out her peeler and got to work. What's next, her dad asked. Mommy finds recipes on the computer, Katie suggested and climbed onto her father's lap as he searched the internet. Next, we have to core and chop the apples, her dad said, reading from the screen. Then mommy puts them in the big pot, Katie continued. We have to find it. In went the apples, then the cinnamon and sugar, and finally the lemon juice. Dad turned on the stove. Soon the kitchen filled with sweet smell of apples and cinnamon. One taste and they knew. We did it, Katie exclaimed. The next morning, Katie walked into her classroom proudly carrying a tray of cups filled with applesauce. Thanks for your help, everybody, she said. A few days later on Rosh Hashanah, she filled grandma's crystal bowl with applesauce and placed it in the center of the holiday table. When her mother arrived with Aunt Leah and her new cousin, Will, she hugged Katie close. Together, they gazed at tiny Will. Then Katie led her mother to the table. Oh my, was all her mother could say. Her father laughed. There was one more surprise. Katie reached into her pocket and pulled out a freezer jar filled with applesauce. Not for now, of course, but soon enough, Will could taste it and smile. They all would. The end. And if you feel like making applesauce, here's a recipe that tells you how to make the applesauce. And we're back. Now we have our project and here is a paper that I will send for you to print out. And we are going to first start by coloring it. What are some things in here, Brynn? What do you see on the picture? Uh, I see 
the apple. Apple, which in Hebrew is tapuach. Can you say tapuach? Tapuach. And what are these? Those are fish. Dog. So now we're going to go ahead and color and then we'll be back. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut out each circle, each object, and then you're going to put a hole in each one and yarn or string and make a necklace. We will be back with the finished product. Hi everyone, we're back and here is our finished product. We have our necklace and now we're going to tie it onto Bryn. So she has a beautiful necklace to wear for the holidays with all our special things that we talked about. Our dog, our fish, and our apple, tapuach, and bees, which make our honey, dvash, and our pomegranate. Who kept up with me? Shalom Chaverim, Shalom Chaverim, Shalom, Shalom. Lehitraot, Lehitraot, Shalom, Shalom. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Bye everyone.